I get a kick out of watching these little box shell turtles. They're pretty neat. I see them pass through the yard from time to time. Alright y'all, I'm actually making this video right after I showed you this new bug mark. Um, I've already done the haggis flip where you punch this out, take that spring out of there, turn it around. Easy, simple operation. I have an absolutely horrible video on how to do that, but there is a good video out there. I think uh, the guy's name is the Harley guy, the Harley dude. Um, his hands are real steady and he does a nice job of it. But we're going to take out a, a part that uh, j it, I just found it aggravating. And it's the part that makes the magazine disconnect work. This right here, this piece right here, this flat piece, that's the magazine disconnect. This rod, this little rod here, that you see it's anchored down here in a plunger it is what makes it work if you take this out then the magazine disconnect no longer is a problem and you can pull the trigger without the magazine being in there I've already taken the gun apart uh, when I went after the spring turn it around but you just take this front screw off, it's shorter than the back screw, you take it off, you take this off, you take this piece here off, okay, um, this is the slide and the recoil spring, and then you take this out right there, now they've put something on there that makes it pretty hard to get out but uh, you take it out and then you take the barrel off of course you take off the panel on the side there but uh, I want to make this a short video and a hopefully a smoother video than the last one I made doing this we're going to take this piece out now this piece here this is the uh, magazine release this piece here just lays in there see that I'm just gonna flick it out of the way because that is the piece we're wanting to get at now this is the spring it's, it's kinda like the top of a hairpin it's a spring and we want this piece the magazine disconnect out of the way okay now when I first did it all these pieces started falling out and it kind of freaked me but uh, it's, it's not a problem believe me there it's out of the way um, interestingly enough this piece right here does not show up on any schematic that I've ever seen on the bookmark see that these hands of mine just don't allow me to do a nice smooth video but we're just gonna pick this thing up and wrestle it out of there just like that it is gone I'll keep it and that uh, this is the magazine disconnect we're gonna put it back in there see the trigger move Let me tell you, if I can do this, anybody can do it. It's early in the morning, and I am just waking up. Now, I'm just going to put it back in there. It, 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 it will no longer interfere 
with the functioning of the gun I, I can pull the trigger yeah I can pull the trigger with the out the magazine in there and this little piece here notice it's kind of bent you want to bend down it just fits back in there that's it it's done that job is done anybody can do it then we put the panel back on I'm gonna um, put this gun back together again and um, we'll check it out we'll see what the haggis flip h-e-g-g-i-s what the haggis flip did for uh, for me on the trigger and then we're going to uh, check out whether it functions without that piece I just took out it's just that easy y'all now I'm gonna turn the camera off I'm gonna put the gun back together again you don't need to see me shaking I don't want this film to be long but um, I'll turn the camera off and then we'll check the function right, out. I'm back got it put back together again simple process check the functionality of it now there is no magazine perfect now let's check the trigger before I did the haggis flip that thing had four and a half pounds of trigger which is entirely too much for me and let's see what we got now two pounds two pounds of trigger so I went from four and a half to two and a half make sure everything still functions perfect I love it and the gun is none the wear for the none the worse for the wear and tear the haggis flip you can check that out online and decide if you want to do that and by all means um, if you're so inclined get that little rod out it is not the disconnect but it's what makes it work and it's a simple process uh, if you're just going to take this out actually all you need to do is uh, take off the one panel I think I'm not real cer certain but I believe you just take off the one panel that's it I appreciate y'all watching catch you later bye